You get mad at the ref? It's the fourth day, this is day four in a row. Damn. Get rid of your sword, just get in the gym, man. So um, what we're about to do here is an in-body test. We're about to throw Mike on the in-body machine here. What this is going to do is it's going to give us a readout of his body composition, skeletal muscle mass, body fat mass, a segmental breakdown of where all that is. It's really going to help us with game planning, programming. It's also going to include his basal metabolic rate, hydration levels, everything. So this is going to be the first step is our in-body scale. We do this with all of our new clients and it charts your progress over time. Mike, socks off, buddy. Socks off. Yeah, everything out your pocket. Visceral fat levels one. Very healthy on the visceral fat level. Sympathic goes, so goes over your organs. Okay. Uh, it protects your internal organs when you have too much of it. It makes it hard for the organs to work. Cool. Um, this is Mike's in body right here. You're carrying almost no fat in your body, but <laughs> you're 13.3%. Uh, no, oh, 13.3 pounds of body fat. You're only 9.4% uh, body fat, but our goal is to actually gain muscle. It, Leanness is already there. Yeah. So, put on some lean muscle. Okay, now. All right, basal metabolic rate 1621. Okay, this is pretty good. All right, man, well, let's get to work. Let's do it. Mike's got a little bit of pump right now, so it's actually, uh, we got a little bit of blood and a little bit of volume going on right now, but uh, we'll compare this to, uh, to the before. So I'm actually stepping out from behind the camera today, guys. I usually am behind the camera, so it's a little bit weird for me to be in front here, but I wanted to show you guys the kind of progress that we can make with a professional trainer here. Think about that. So um, due to time constraints today, my top trainer who's behind the camera right now, Jeremy, is actually gonna take him through um, his shoulder routine, and then I'm gonna take over as far as arms goes. But we're simpatico, we've got the program all designed and ready to go. Stay tuned to see Mike's progress. We're gonna check in periodically with you and uh, show you what's going on. So this is my top trainer, Jeremy Lacey. Um, he's gonna be taking our camera guy, Mike, through some exercises today. Can't wait to see Mike's transformation. But we're doing some arms and shoulders today. We've got that mass on there. Uh, be sure to follow him on Instagram. It's J underscore Lace 88. Uh, for, some, for some sick content that he's going to be putting out through there. Uh, we got a good training staff over here. We're looking forward to uh, changing people's lives here in 2020. So this is actually a really good exercise. The landmine press, especially from the knees, it makes it a little bit more functional. It makes the core have to be a lot more active during the movement. But not only does it do that, it's actually a shoulder saver. Um, because basically here with the shoulder, we're actually pushing slightly forward and it's at an angle. So it's going to put a lot less pressure on the shoulder. Um, it's going to put a little bit of pressure on the chest and the front delts to get it done, but all together it's gonna to be a lot more stable for that ball and socket joint. Some side lateral raises right now. With the dumbbells, you wanna have the dumbbells turned down to the side, lifting up. Squeezing. That's going to put more tension on the shoulders. It's going to take that trap out of the movement. So you're going to relax the traps. Bringing it straight up. Squeezing, coming back down. Not like your standard one where you would use your body weight to leverage. We're going to do three sets of 12. Comes up, going out, false grip. 
dumb on the other side of the weight. Stopping three quarters of the weight. That's going to keep that tempo on there. Side note. Next movement is going to be three sets of 12. He's going to do ISO. He's going to hold both arms up. Doing 10 on one side. Switch 10 on the other side to complete the movement. Alright, this next movement is a plate raise. You're going to raise it up, but you're going to point out at the top. Now what that does is that puts more emphasis on the front delt. That takes all the pressure off the trap. This movement when you come over here you don't want to use full range of motion because when you use full range of motion you now put the back into the motion you want to come down about a quarter of your way and go back about a quarter keeping the elbows high and squeezing at the back that's going to engage those rear delts otherwise you now put the back into it all right, so here what we're going to do is we're actually going to combine a compound joint action. Um, we're going to do an underhanded pull-up. We're really going to focus here on the biceps. So we're going to come down here. We're going to do an actual kettlebell curl, keeping the wrist nice and straight, make it focus on the uh, brachioradialis muscle. Um, and really, that's the muscle that goes underneath the biceps brachii and kind of help pump it out. And it'll, it'll add to like a much fuller bicep work. Really cool superset. We're going to do three sets, 15 apiece for exercise. So here we're going to do 15 close grip push-ups followed by a rope uh, tricep push-down. Uh, this is going to drive a lot of blood flow into the tricep and really pump out the lateral head of the tries. So um, by taking a step back during the triceps extension, you're going to work a lot more of the upper triceps because of the angle and the way that the, uh, the cable is actually going to go. The force is going to be pulling more away from you and instead of working just like that little anconius at the bottom of the tricep, you're actually going to get more into the meaty part of the tricep. It's going to allow for a lot more growth. We're going to do this three sets, 15 reps. Let's go. Here we're actually going to do a burnout set with the TRX here. We're going to do biceps curls and triceps extensions with just body weight, okay? So we're going to do 30 reps of a biceps curl, then we're going to go in 30 reps of a triceps extension, then 20 of each, and then 10 of each, all right? With no break in between. This is going to get a pretty big pump and a pretty big blood flow into the uh, whole middle of the arm there. Let's go. Yep. Scoot back a little bit. One more, one more, one more. There. 30 of those. The further you step forward, the easier it becomes. The further you step backwards, the more difficult it gets. One, two, squeeze the peak at the top. No trick, man. Squeeze the pinky. You turn the wrist down a little bit. There you go. Feel that at the peak? Yeah, that's our circulation. Six, seven, eight. Easier for you, man. Oh my god, that killed me. Let's get mad and blaze through it, man. So you gotta go. Yep. He's, uh, he's used to that kind of punishment. Though. Get mad at the ref. Yep. Four days, this is day four in a row. Damn. Here with your sword. Just get the gym, man. Smash that like button. Subscribe for more content. Jim, what's your Instagram, man? 
My Instagram is J underscore Lace88. Uh, but before you follow him, come follow me. Mine's Maddie Trainer09. Uh, also, follow my buddy Nick, KJB NMC, guy behind the camera, Cleveland Aperture. Subscribe for more. Follow mine first. Follow mine too, though. Like, for real.